so many guys like him so much. Well, I think the biggest thing with him is his message about developing a total football player. Mm -hmm. you know, I got, you know, started getting recruited pretty early on in the process, and you know, like most kids, I wanted to hear like, how many times I can get the ball and try to be a high control runner up, a winner or whatever, you know, that type deal was. But his message was about, you know, making me into a man. And obviously, my parents kind of preached that message to me. It was about life outside of football. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just about the game itself. It was about what happens when they take that ball from you. I tell the recruits all the time, I don't care how great of a football player you are, at some point you're going to be too old, not good enough, and be injured, they're going to take that ball from you. you know, can you survive and support your family? And I was, he was the one coach I met with in the recruiting process. We met for about an hour and a half with my parents, and he didn't say a word about football. Mm -hmm. It was all about his wow. faith walk. It was about you know, him becoming a man and, and his process as far as his, his players, how he fed into those guys, and that really struck home. It seems like it's resonating. You guys have been doing pretty well recruiting-wise lately yeah. with a few of these guys. Uh, you you recruit the same way you got recruited? Is that the way you, you absolutely, know, absolutely. the whole staff? And, I, uh -huh. and obviously, you know, I tell guys that we we're speaking because of football. That's why I'm recruiting a prospect because I think he's going to be a, uh, a potential good player for us here at Miami. But it's not just about football. And I want guys to understand the importance of life outside of football. Understand what it means to be a true student athlete. That means going to class on time every single day. And I think football is a great teacher of life. You know, it teaches you the highs. When you're a highly recruited guy, you may be a starter to your position. and teach you also the lows. You know, being injured, overcoming adversity, having to push past pain. So I preach all those things. So I recruit and our players as well. You're uh, the coordinator now. Obviously, I know he handles the majority of the quarterbacks. But how do you think that there's an advantage to that? Because they didn't really do things that way. Now, running game coordinator, he's the passing game guy. Yeah. How do you think that? divvying up those responsibilities help you guys? Well, I think the biggest thing is to make sure we're all on the same page from an off of the staff standpoint. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I have the coordinator title, uh, but I think we have an unbelievable off of the staff. It's great input uh, from, from uh, Coach Dugas to, to Coach Harley to Coach Cerro, even John Rick and Coach Rick as well. I think it's, it's important for us to, to put a great plan together and put these guys in a position where they can be successful. It's our job is to set them up, set the tone for them, and they obviously execute on a daily basis. And hold those guys accountable to everything we tell them to. I know the theme I was talking with RJ McIntosh about defense, and the theme is get to the ball fast. But what's the theme on offense? What do you when you guys came in here and you asked these guys to work out? What was the theme on offense? Well, the most important thing is the protecting the football. Mm -hmm. and that means every person that touches the ball has to do a great job of security. So every single at the end of every position, we we end with the ball in our hands. That means ball carries. That means quarterback throwing passes. That's receivers.